Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. We are out here in Flagler Beach, beautiful Flagler Beach, on a canal front home. And there's lots of little issues here. Let's take a look and show you what we're doing here. This entire pool, lanai, patio, all of this was installed less than six months ago. And at first glance, it's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. But take a look at the first rainfall. It's like the water is just not draining right here at all. So of course the homeowner called the pool company and the paver company and the channel drain people and asked them to please come out and take a look. She got no response. They would not come out and even take a look at this problem. So thinking, okay, well we'll have to solve this ourselves, they went ahead and hired a landscaper to install a catch basin system thinking that was the problem. So they hired a contractor to put in a couple of catch basins, one back there by the screen lanai, another one over here in the corner, and they actually lead all the way around to the front. A downspout drain was also attached, and all of these things come out here to a pop-up. But guess what? This is higher than where the catch basins are located. So of course, none of that works. So again, the homeowner called this company and asked them to come out and take a look. They did come back and they duct taped this fitting to help keep that water from pulling the sand down into the area. However, the problem still exists because the original catch basins run uphill to where they discharge. They did install a French drain along this side of the house, in other words, gravel perforated pipe. However, that doesn't function either because it runs uphill. All drainage must discharge to daylight. In other words, it has to come out of the ground somewhere. These homeowners called so many different companies and had many different estimates, but nobody wanted to take on the job. You know, Drainage is so important for any construction project. Channel drain, micro channel drain, doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but look at the damage that this caused. And the worst thing is, it's going to get worse if you don't solve the problem. Here in Florida and anywhere across the country, when you build a swimming pool and you build the screened in enclosure, it's because you want to have a nice space, maybe have a barbecue or just enjoy an evening meal. That little two inch channel drain and the downspouts are so vital to keeping this area from having damage. So let's take a look at how we go about solving this type of problem. First of all, we could cut out that whole channel drain and install a much larger system. This is very involved and you're going to spend somewhere between nine and $12,000 to do so. So you can imagine their budget has been spent with a new pool, pavers, all the drainage, the extra French drain that didn't work. They're at the end of their rope. What else can we do? So forgive my long intro, but you really needed to get all of that history of what goes on here to understand what we are going to do to solve this problem. So the pool contractor came in, dug this pool out, and cut all of the downspout drains. They used to discharge out here at the seawall. Next, the paving contractors came in, did a great job with the pavers, and installed a channel drain, which failed horribly. And lastly, they installed catch basins and French drains, which also failed. So the first thing that we're going to recommend is, of course, clean the channel drain. And we use the mini jetter to do so. We can make this channel drain brand new. Let it run down here. 
the channel drain was completely full of sand, but what we discovered is the channel drain runs uphill to this exit, and from this corner, it runs downhill only half ways, and then it goes back uphill again. <laughs> I know it's hard to see with this little level, but if you look closely at the bubble, you can see that this water is trying to go down the channel drain, but it really should go that direction, out to the exit. But instead, it runs downhill a little ways, and then from here at this corner, it goes back uphill, causing the water to just pool and flood all through this area. That's why they thought they could put a catch basin in here and collect the water. Further problems, you can see the gap that they left. You can see the erosion taking place. Over a period of time, water is going to get down underneath here. And these pavers are going to sink dramatically. And it's like that. You can see the water standing here in the channel drain because it's running this direction. But those seams are the same on each one. Can you see that? Water's getting down underneath, behind and under the underneath the channel drain, and it's gonna make these pavers sink. Okay, enough about how many mistakes were made on this installation. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. We start by cutting the downspout because we need access to this pipe, the downspout drain. Next, we're going to actually tunnel under the pavers. Pavers are held together with a concrete border. So I'm using the pry bar to break that concrete and now I can begin to lift the pavers. We need to remove enough pavers that we can do some excavation before we start to tunnel. We need to pull out a piece of this old downspout drain because there is an adapter that is actually in this stone. We also need to excavate all around this catch basin. So first we'll remove all of that gravel. We're going to dig that gravel out because we're going to reuse it. But remember, this catch basin doesn't work. We're going to attach that to the downspout drain. We also have to provide drainage at the end of the channel drain on both sides. So one of the toughest things coming back behind somebody else, not knowing what they did, is we have to explore. So they actually have a four inch pipe going down. Can you see it? There's a 90. It turns and it's under the pavers. So that line's backed up too. So we need to clean that line and also attach this channel drain. Over here, we want to attach this catch basin because it doesn't work, it doesn't go anywhere. We want to take this catch basin, bring it over and tie it into this system. So we've got more exploration to do here as well. So after lots of exploring, we have discovered what we can do to solve this problem. You can see there is a pipe that goes down under these pavers. It goes under the pavers, it turns and it runs out that direction. The problem here is the channel drain is very low right here. It's extremely low. And in order to reset that, you'd have to pull all the pavers. Quite, quite costly you know, to reset that and get it to drain. So we also have a catch basin over here that goes nowhere. It, it doesn't drain, it doesn't do anything. It goes to a perforated pipe over between another catch basin. And of course, when it rains hard, the ground fills with water and the water can't escape. So this doesn't go anywhere. What we want to do is to attach a T right here. We'll attach the downspout, the catch basin. We're actually going to drill a hole through the channel drain, a one inch hole, and drop it directly down onto this pipe that we're going to install. Difficult spot because you know drills don't have a lot of access to make holes, so it makes it kind of hard for you to make those holes, but it can be done. So we've got this one figured out. You can see where the line discharged before, it had a pop-up, and it actually rose almost 15, 16 inches 
up for it to discharge. It couldn't work, it was impossible. So we've got a pipe down there. We're gonna attach that trench, a whole new line. We just started taking the sod off here over to an existing core through the seawall. There, there is a hole here in the seawall. This core through the wall was the original downspout drain, which was cut off when the pool was built. Okay, before we can go any further, we need to connect the downspout drains and get them out to the seawall. So when we're cutting into an existing line, very important that you line up that 45 so that it goes straight down the trench. So if you use your finger to make a mark, that looks good, where the coupling would end. Okay, now we're the, inside the coupling there, Chuck. There you go. The inside of the coupling, that's where we're going to cut it, right there. We're going to use a reciprocating saw and just cut right through there. That's perfect. Anywhere in that mark is going to work really good. These things cut pretty straight, but it's nice to get a good straight cut, get straight down on it. Now cut out some more, cut out about, oh, uh, well, I guess this is sliding. We're still gonna have to cut that piece over there, cut off about eight or 10 inches of that one and get it out of the way. Now we're gonna slide the 45, clean this fitting off, you know, this pipe off right here, and slide the 45 on and line that up so it's straight down the trench. And just lay it right up to this fitting. Perfect. Okay, so let me show you the obstacle. We're gonna have to use go around this huge piece of debris that was left, and it's it's about four feet thick of concrete. You see the concrete here? I mean, we're not even down to where the bottom of it is, and there's no way we're gonna dig that out of there. So we're basically just gonna go around it and Use a couple 45s, go around it, and connect to that piece down there. So basically, we're just running a little piece of corrugated around. We've got great fall, nothing to worry about. Goes on out, 45s, goes through the seawall. Perfect. See all that water pouring out of there? That was the same level as the water up at the downspout and you can see it just rushing down that trench now so we've got this thing it's going to work great so now we're going to put a 45 on there that 45 looks good it's pointing right down the trench nice 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 now we need to make the measurement here from this 10 foot section use the sawzall lay it down there we can expand the pipe so lay that down cut to the inside of that coupling you can actually cut it a little short there you go don't cut the <laughs> clean off the burrs and we're ready to snap this together and this is in perfect working order once again this should have been done to begin with but whoever installed it, you know, that's what they did. Oh, nice. Yeah, real nice. Perfect. Let's take a look. So we've got from where they ended their pipe, and then they had that huge riser came up almost two feet. We've run new pipe down. We had to use a little bit of corrugated to go around the pipe. And it comes out, goes right out through the seawall. Very nice, very nice. Comes all the way out to the seawall. This water level dropped right away. And that's the same level as it is out there where I just showed you. So this is in good working order. So now we're under the pavers and we're getting ready to connect many different things. We have to have a very square cut on this 
downspout drain. Remember, this is the drain that went all the way out through the seawall. We're going to connect the catch basin, the channel drain, and the downspout drain all under the pavers. Working in such tight quarters is not the easiest task to do, but by doing this, you know, we saved these people nearly $12,000. So let's kind of re review this. What we do is we cut a one inch hole through the channel drain. I used a modified channel drain drop, caulked and sealed one and a half inch pipe down, drilled into the T, connected the downspout, and now we're ready to connect the catch basin. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on here. Remember, this catch basin, it actually ran around to the, towards the front, and there's no way that this basin was working. And you saw the video at the beginning where it flooded right away, and then of course it, it collapsed. Remember, they came back and they duct taped it together, but it didn't solve anything because it just goes out over to another catch basin over there and it's just it doesn't work <laughs> you know water has to run downhill you cannot discharge water underground it has to come up out of the ground someplace and there must be gravity for that to work ideally would be to put a sump pump back there in the corner bring this basin over to there and the other basin would tie in lift that water up with the pump and then we can send it you know wherever we want we could pump it clear out to this to the uh, canal that would be fine so you can take a look you can see the plumbing mess the nightmare <laughs> basically what we did was we God, this channel drain runs uphill all the way out to that ex exit there it also if you see that portion of the channel drain over there runs uphill to where it exits and you saw the water coming in underneath of her lanai. And these guys use this lanai. I, I can't really show you in there, but I mean, they use this all the time. They've got a television out here, refrigerator. You know, this is their area of living and they can't have this. So what we did was we drilled a one inch hole right here, inch and a half pipe down. We had to tunnel under the pavers we, we had to reattach the downspout and raise the downspout up. Remember this was, the whole fitting was actually here and no access to the line at all. It was crazy. But we've got all that and then we tied the catch basin in. We had to use a piece of corrugated to get around all these other pipes here. Tie it all together and now we're in good shape. And we'll show you here in just a second after we backfill. So everything's backfilled, covered up, and here's the water running across the pavers into the channel drain, coming all the way out to the seawall. I believe that we solved this problem and truly saved these homeowners, you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. Yeah, it was a tough little job and very tedious work. But after they had spent so much money and they wanted to enjoy this view, enjoy their pool and their patio, this was the best option to solve the problem. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.